For the breaking news this hour, a source telling CNN that Russia Special Counsel Robert Mueller gave the Attorney General a heads up some three weeks ago that he would not be able to reach a conclusion on one of the biggest questions in his nearly two-year investigation. Did the President of the United States obstruct justice? Uh, let's uh, bring in our reporters and our experts. Joining us now are crime and justice reporter Shimon Prokopez, our senior White House correspondent Pamela Brown, once again our chief political analyst Gloria Borger, and our CNN legal analyst Shan Wu. Uh, so Pamela, Let's talk about this. This is mm -hmm. a major news that some three weeks ago, uh, Mueller said, you know what, I can't decide. It's up to you. That's right. I would love to learn more about what was happening behind the scenes and why Mueller decided to punt to the Attorney General Bill Barr. It makes you wonder if because he never got that sit-down interview, he was never approved for the subpoena reporting as he wanted it, that basically he just said, okay, I'm going to leave the conclusion to you. I, I always thought, you know, a lot of the criticism has been, oh, well, Bill Barr only had 48 hours to make this determination. Well, now we know, according to our, our reporting from Laura Jarrett, that no, he's known for a few weeks uh, what the situation was, and he's been brief from the get-go for the last month or so on what evidence they had on obstruction of justice. And so in that sense, um, you know, it, he did have the time to lay out in his letter yesterday to Congress about why he did not think there was sufficient evidence to make an obstruction of justice case. And frankly, we already knew that even before on the memo he had sent uh, right. before he was attorney general saying that the investigation overall was fatally misconceived. And that is, as we expected, we predicted is what Democrats have been seizing on that Trump's handpicked attorney general and Rod Rosenstein, who wrote the letter that was helped in the firing of James Comey, are conflicted and they shouldn't have been the one to make the determination. You know, in, in the uh, letter that he sent to Congress yesterday, Bill Barr, he specifically quotes the special counsel, Robert Mueller, as saying, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, uh, namely obstruction of justice, it also does not exonerate him. Yeah, that is the most puzzling line, obviously, in, in all of this and what's created this mess and where you're seeing now officials at the Department of Justice, by what mm -hmm. we're reporting today, uh, are trying to clean this up a little bit. It's a very puzzling line because he's left, he left it so open-ended, you can't get any more open-ended now. And where they're so clear on the collusion aspect of this, they're not clear uh, on the obstruction aspect. The bottom line is, this is it, right? No matter, we can all argue what this means and lawyers can argue back and forth. The Department of Justice, that's mm -hmm. the key here, has cleared the president of any wrongdoing, of any criminal wrongdoing. On obstruction uh, on obstru and, uh, and yeah. both of those. Yeah. And the other person you have to keep in mind here is Rod Rosenstein and the role that he has played mm -hmm. in all mm -hmm. of this. He was managing this investigation. He was running it. He was making decisions on it. Uh, and so he very much was involved in this question of obstruction mm -hmm. way before Barr. the attorney general, way before Bill Barr came into play here. Bill Barr was simply presented with the facts. He agreed with them. And, and this is where we it's are. It's interesting because in the light of our reporting about the subpoena discussions, we know now in this memo where Rosenstein stood. Yeah. He did not believe that there was enough there in the obstruction case. And so it does make you wonder. Um, one last question I was asking, one last thing I want to say is I was asking someone, why would Barr put this in the memo yesterday about Mueller didn't exonerate him? And this person said he knew he couldn't hide it because this report, the Mueller report, could be made public one day. So, you know, Shan, I just want to get your legal perspective, because in this uh, four-page letter that Bill Barr, the, uh, the uh, attorney general, sent to Congress yesterday, he said since... The Robert Mueller could not make a decision on obstruction of justice, handing it over to him. They consulted, he consulted obviously with the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, but also consulted with department officials, including the Office of Legal Counsel, before they concluded, they concluded uh, that uh, I have concluded that the evidence developed during the special counsels is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Well, that so was, it's not just Rod Rosenstein, right. it's also the Office of Legal Counsel and other department officials who advised him, you go ahead and make the decision. Yeah, Barr's been AG before, he knows how to cover himself. That's how you do it at the <laughs> Justice Department. You get buy-in from the different divisions. So he did that. This was tailor-made for him. This was exactly the hypothetical he raised in his memo. So whether you give him three weeks or three months, he knew where he was coming out on this. But I think it's important to note that what Mueller said was or what they're saying he said was, he would not, not cannot, not I'm deferring, raises a lot of questions. We don't know how that conversation went with Barr. Did he say to the Attorney General, I think it's appropriate for you to decide? 
Did he simply say he wouldn't be reaching a conclusion because, for example, way too much conflicting evidence? Mm -hmm. or, or, did, or did Mueller feel like he wasn't going to win, <laughs> you know, that he knew, he knew from his conversations, perhaps his informal conversations with Rod Rosenstein, mm -hmm. how he felt about a subpoena mm -hmm. for the president testifying. He knew he was going to lose on that yeah. one. So he didn't, he didn't go there. Mm -hmm. And then he knew where Barr stood, obviously, because of the 2018 memo that Pamela's been talking about, where the, he called the theory of obstruction fatally misconceived and a legally insupportable reading of the law. And so what he did was he punted, which I believe is strange for, for Robert Mueller. This is, not, this is not the way he operates. There is a backstory mm -hmm. here. Right. And, I think it goes, and I think it goes to the question of the president testifying um, uh, before before Mueller, and we have to kind of unravel all of that as we continue to he, report He only here. was willing to answer questions in writing, but there was never a formal Q&A and a oral interview. About obstruction, yes, yeah. absolutely. But you have to question the evidence that they have of, of, of obstruction, if their only evidence would be what the president would say. So initially, essentially, the president would have to incriminate himself. Right. Then you have to wonder, well, what do they have? What do they have on right. obstruction? If they had more, mm -hmm. then we would have seen it, perhaps maybe charges or we would have seen some, some, something. But if the idea that they needed the president's words to bring charges against the president, I mean, that's a very difficult said it place. In the memo. Yeah, that that's a, a very difficult public... place for investigators and for prosecutors to be. Exactly. They said in the yeah. memo that, that most of it was in public view. And our reporting is that Mueller was focused on conflicting public statements and whether that was an effort uh, by the president to intimidate witnesses, to obstruct justice, and that that was being woven into this report. You know, very quickly, Gloria, the uh, president just said, uh, yes, he did, uh, uh, when he was asked at this photo op at the end of the, his meeting with the prime minister of Israel whether Robert Mueller acted honorably. He simply said, this is the president, yes, he did, in sharp contrast to what he's been saying about Mueller for nearly two Witch years. Which hunt, 13 angry Democrats, and even even yesterday where he called it a, a illegal, you know, the whole the whole investigation illegal. Uh, I think that somebody may have gotten to the president and said, you know what, you ought to you ought to be a little more gracious about this and say that, that Bob Mueller uh, acted honorably. Gloria Borger, uh, Shimon Prokopes, Pamela Brown, uh, Shan Wu, guys, thanks very much.